Right, so just taking a look at Anchor's newest wireless charging power bank here. Okay, so it fits in the palm of your hand. It's got a real small profile build here. It doesn't weigh too heavy. You push a button on the side and it'll light up a digital display here showing that it has 82% battery at the moment. So that comes in very handy and it's also got a little stand that pops up so that you can put your phone down on a flat surface. So here's the size comparison to some things like a pen. This is the iPhone. Just pop it on here and it's got a strong magnet showing that it's charging and it shows how much battery is left while you're charging in this state right here. So it's good to know it gives you an accurate measurement of how long you can charge with while it's charging and I like it. It's got the stand in motion here so if you're watching things like YouTube you can lay it on the side like that and watch movies with it too. So the charging block utilizes something known as a Q2 charger so it charges it faster wirelessly. 15 watts is what it offers as an output but if you want to use a USB-C to charge it with the cord you can do it that way and it'll charge even faster. When I put it on the back of my phone I didn't feel it getting too warm. It does add a little weight having this and this in your hand but on the go without any wires I think this is the best way to go about it. Keep your devices topped off on the go and Anchor's got a great warranty so that you don't have to worry about any kind of breakages happening and having to get it fixed because they're not going to leave you stranded without any good customer service. The battery capacity is 10,000 milliamps so just a heads up on that. The exact model of this is called the MagGo Power Bank 10,000K and I would recommend it. Now on the other end of a double the capacity kind of power bank from Anchor, this one it has a interesting design. This is by the way called the Anchor Bank. It's the model that has 20,000 ohms and I'll put a link of it in the description box below. This USB that's built in to the power bank, this will charge the power bank with this plug here alone. Or you could plug it in with a USB-C port here. This is an intelligent output. I like this though because you can use this as like a handle to carry around. So giving you a bird's eye view of this, when you push the side button here, it shows the amount of battery that's available in here and to charge your devices you just use a wire like that. I have the iPhone so I have the lightning port one and it'll charge it up like that. This charge lasts me a good bit all day to charge my device just because of the fact that it has 20,000 milliamps. I can charge my phone multiple times like four times throughout the day. Another thing that this comes built in with is this thing right here where you just extend that and then you can just use that as a phone holder so if you're watching a movie or if you want a clock or something just to look at like that you can place it up right like that and get a bird's eye view of what's going on with your phone and the last one that I want to share if you're looking for a lot of power for your bigger devices such as your MacBook Air, your other laptops that utilize a Type-C charging cable is this Anchor 737. This one, if you push the button on the side, it gives you a digital readout of what's going on in the screen, how much battery it contains, and also it will show like a USB-CA slot, how much power it is given out, how many cycles it has, things like how much you have used the screen too. Many different functionalities of this and I would recommend this one because it's not too heavy but you can carry it around with you and it charges very fast. It even gives you the temperature and how many cycles 
that you've put through the battery. So this one right here is my favorite one, especially for my laptop. I do a lot of video editing and this one is a monster. So just giving you a size comparison and unplugging my phone from this one. This one right here was the Anchor. It's a nice white color one. It had 20,000 ohms in it. And here is the 737. Now I'm going to put this cord in here, connect it up here, and show you the digital readouts of what it's showing here. This one also shows how much battery life is available in the power bank. It shows you how much watt is being outputted. So you can see that there is one watt being outputted anywhere fluctuating to 1.7 for my cell phone. And it has 15 hours of battery life left on it at this rate. The Anchor has came a long way. This is their old power core, okay? It's the PowerCore 10,000 and it has 10,000 milliamps also. I feel like this one is so old because it's got the USB-C A slot on it which not a lot of devices charge fast off of that. And then to recharge it you just use a micro USB, uh, excuse me, micro USB cable. Compared to other power banks out there, Anchor has been a more of a price point higher than the other ones out there but it's because they're made of good quality and they have such a good warranty that if anything ever goes wrong with it they'll help you fix it so I like buying from Anchor and their brands have not let me down besides the power bank they also make electrical outputs like this is Anchor's extension travel cord it's got this nice velcro thing to keep it wrapped and it travels all the way over to here so you can put in two different AC slots and on the front of it there's an intelligent charger for your USB-C or two USB-A slots that'll help keep your charge up on your phone or on USB-C's. I'll link all of these devices in the description box so that you can keep your devices topped off and charged because we like staring at our phones all day and having a lot of charge available. Thank you for watching and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.